Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today I am visiting an old friend, an old makeup friend, and that is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Photo Finish Oil Free Foundation, and that is a mouthful. My color is Bamboo Beige. I wore this for the longest time. I cannot even remember how many years ago it was that I started wearing it. I'm thinking it was when I first when it first came out. I first discovered it. I remember I went to an Ulta in Knoxville and there was, no, a Sephora. I went to a Sephora in Knoxville and the woman there had on the most beautiful foundation. I said, what is that foundation? And she told me it was the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Oil Free. So I bought some that day and fell in love with it since. Wore it over and over and over again. I just thought it was the most beautiful foundation. There was one drawback. It was that it seemed to make my skin oilier. Um, there's a fine line, I think, between a nice glow and greasy skin. And it would always start out with just the best glow, just right there, perfect glow. But sometimes when I would make videos with the lights on, especially in the summertime, when it was humid here in the south, it would come across as greasy and people would say, your, your skin really looks oily. It looks really greasy. And it would, looking back on it, it would. So I thought, uh, I'm going to try these new fangled uh, stick foundations. And so I discovered the Lancome. I tried, you know, I've gone through this whole journey with stick foundations. And, and so this one kind of got put off to the side. And so I thought, uh, recently, gosh, I remember that being such a beautiful foundation. Let me revisit it and see what I think. So that's what I'm doing now. Uh, and I've got it on today. I'm testing it out. I'm seeing if it breaks down, but it is just such a beautiful foundation. It is flawless. I've forgotten how easy it is to put on. I do a demonstration of, you know, me putting it on. I put it on with this brush. I still have it. They do not make it anymore. It is a Sephora brush, but they do have a substitute that looks pretty much the same. The handle looks different, but this looks the same. It's very dense and it's kind of flat on the top. Slightly curved, but mostly flat where you can just really buff it in. So pretty. And it just, the brush and this, the Artiste brush does a good job too, but it's, you know, it's really expensive. This does a great job with this foundation. I would try it occasionally with a very finely milled powder, just a little setting powder, and it took away, it, it would make it that oil not break through. I would try it with a, a primer, and the pr primers just don't do anything for me. They just don't. I've tried ever just tons and tons of them. In fact, I think it makes my skin look oilier. It just like my skin goes, there's something else there. We're just gonna, the oil's gonna really break through. And that just seems to be what happens with me. So if I can just kind of keep things away from, you know, doing too many steps in the morning, uh, my skin seems to do a little bit better. I think I had a lipstick on my teeth, but I'm not starting over. <laughs> I'm on a roll. But uh, this, when I would put a little setting powder on it, it just lost that fine little glow that, that made it so special. So I'm going to go through it again. I even tried putting it, you know, like misting it and stuff. I don't like to spray my face, but I would mist it. And, uh, you know, I just felt like it didn't quite look as pretty as it did just on your regular skin, over your regular skincare. So I'm testing it right now again. I'm going back. This is without anything on. If it breaks down toward the end of the day, uh, then I will try it again tomorrow with a little finishing powder and maybe spraying. If it does, okay, I'm, I'm leaving it and I'll put it up. So um, I will check it right is the, I might check it periodically through the day, but I will check it for sure right before the sun goes down because it, I can't get this room when it's dark, I can't get this room light enough to have good lighting. So I will check it. I'll know for sure by the end of the day, by seven o'clock, if it's going to hold up with me or not, because I've got a lot to do today. So uh, I will check back with you all later. Okay, this is the Laura Mercier that I have. It's an older 
bottle or tube and I take, I love this brush. I probably already talked about it. I love this brush, flat, just real dense brush. Oliver has chewed on it, but I put it directly on the, just a few of those like that. Then I dab it on. And then just start blending. I don't use, you don't really have to use a whole, whole, whole lot of this. Maybe a little bit more to touch up certain areas. But it covers really well. Going back to it, I'm surprised at how little I have to use. I do have my concealer on underneath my eyes. That's the only makeup I had on. Let me see if I need anything else. That's it. So we'll see. We'll see how it lasts, but it's just a special makeup. It really is a beautiful makeup. So we shall see. Um, I'll check back. Okay, here it is a good four hours later. And the only thing I have done is put on some lipstick and brush my hair. I'm filming, making Christmas decorations downstairs, so I wanted to add a little color to my face. But I have not touched up the foundation. And uh, to me, it's still going strong. Let me get up closer. Um, I don't... I don't see any oiliness breaking out. I don't see any, you know, to me, it just still looks pretty much the same as it did this morning when I put it on. Uh, like I said, I have uh, put on some lipstick and brushed my hair is all I've done to touch up things and it's only because I'm doing another video. But this foundation, I just love it. Somebody's gonna ask me if I like this better than the Lancome. Oh. To me, it's a toss-up. If you like a stick, I'd go the Lancome. If you like a cream, I like this one. But uh, this is my first check-in, and I'm, I'm tickled so far. It still has not gone into the bad oiliness, and it isn't into the dryness. It's just staying right there in the middle, which is kind of where I want it to be, just right there, average in the middle. So I'll check back later. This is my last check-in. My son needed to use my microphone for a video shoot, so that's why I'm uh, using a voiceover. I've, I'm really tickled. Uh, it is performing better than I remember, maybe because the weather is not as hot. I don't know, but I'm really tickled with it. It didn't seem to break down all that much, especially not with any kind of setting powder on it or anything. I like to just use a foundation plain. I just think it's just a really beautiful foundation. I'm really tickled to have it as an option, you know, as an alternative to my stick foundation from Lancome. So thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. I love you all. And just thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.